Hi guys, my name is Ashman and in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to root a Samsung Galaxy Note. So the first thing we need to do is we need to check what is the firmware that we are running. And for that, you need to go ahead, tap uh, menu, settings, about phone. And now you see the kernel version over here. Uh, you see the N7000 something, 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 something. Take the last three characters. That is LA5. That is the firmware that uh, is running on this phone right now. If your firmware is somewhere in the KJ series or you know even the early KL versions, you can just click on the link that pops up and uh, you can go ahead and directly root your phone. But if you are on KL7, KL8, LA1, LA2, uh, any of the LA series or even the LB series which is out right now, this is the tutorial you need to follow. Let me tell you how it works. Any of the earlier versions, you can just go ahead and root the phone and install Clockwork Mod directly. But for KL7, KL8 and the later versions of the firmware, we need to actually first go ahead and downgrade the phone to a compatible version and then go ahead and root it. So to see which versions are compatible, click on link number two and that will take you to a page which will tell you which uh, firmwares are directly rootable and which are not. So check whether your firmware is in the, under the directly rootable list. And if it is, click on the link that popped up uh, and you can go to, the, go to my relevant tutorial on how to directly root your phone. If you are in the not directly rootable list, then let's go ahead. Just download these four files from the links below. You need to have the initial CF root flasher Odin and the firmware file that we are going to downgrade to and the relevant CF root file. I have, I have selected the KL3 firmware to downgrade to but if you want to choose a different one make sure that you choose the relevant CF root files. If you don't know what I'm talking about then just uh, then just use the files that I've downloaded. So right now what you need to do with your phone you need to press the down volume power and the home key at the same time and hold it. You need to hold it for about 10 seconds and you would uh, get rebooted into the download mode. Once you see the download mode you can let it go and now hit volume up to continue. You see this? And this is your cue to connect the phone to the micro USB cable. With the cable connected, you can just leave the phone as it is. Now navigate into Odin and load Odin up. Over here, click on PDA and navigate to the folder where you have saved the uh, saved the KL3 firmware. So there'll be one file in here. Just select it. And now. Uh, Word of advice guys, if you're going to go ahead and do any kind of flashing or rooting on your phone, you need to have Samsung keys installed prior to that so that the drivers get detected properly. So in case you don't have Samsung keys to installed, that is also available under the links. So go ahead and get Samsung keys installed right from now, the link. Ensure that repartition and flash lock are not checked and auto reboot and F dot reset time are the one only ones checked. And this is done by default. So I just need you to double check that this is how your uh, program looks just uh, just at the start key and right now we need to wait for the flashing to be done so what we are doing right now is we are downgrading your phone uh, we are downgrading the phone to a rootable firmware and from there we are going to go ahead and root the phone and install clockwork mod recovery on it with clockwork mod recovery installed we can go ahead and flash any ROM we want I would strongly suggest not going from going to the factory stock settings and getting a custom ROM like either the Rocket ROM or the Check ROM installed. So even if at the moment you're considering, you know, sticking sticking to stock, I would suggest just going ahead and flashing Check ROM or Rocket ROM and just trying it out for half an hour, and I can assure you that the gains you notice would far outweigh your fears, and you would settle with a custom ROM. Because uh, I can tell you guys it's amazing from the time I switched over to custom ROMs my phone has been extremely smooth and it's been fast it's, it's given me a better battery life so 
I would strongly suggest you go ahead and flash a custom ROM and if you guys have any issues doing it I have a tutorial for that as well so I would link that uh, at the end of this tutorial so that you can use that and know how to flash a custom ROM onto your phone so that's it guys we are almost done So once you see pass over there, you can pull out the micro, micro USB cable. Now the phone would reboot on its own. And you should uh, boot back into the downgraded version of the firmware. So it'll take a few minutes to get, get done. So just give it the time. Uh, so we're back up now. So just to show you, I'm going to go into settings and go into about phone and you can see that a kernel version that is a firmware is scale 3 right now and this is rootable so just go back and go into applications and uh, check unknown sources click OK and now go down to development and uh, enable USB debugging as well okay once you're done with this Connect your phone back up with a USB cable, micro USB cable and leave the phone as it is. You can close Odin because we are done with it. And now uh, go into the CF root file that you unzipped and you, you will find something called Z image. So copy that or cut it whatever and go, out, go back out and go into initial CF root flasher and again there will be a folder called z image and there will be a file here saying place z image here so paste the file the z image file over there and come back out and now we will have a bat file saying not rooted yet dot bat so click on it you will get a set of disclaimers if you read it it's gonna tell you the same thing enable usb debugging and unknown sources that's what we currently did so press any key to continue so now this will take a couple of minutes and it will end up uh, rooting a phone and adding clockwork mod recovery to it so let's just give it a couple of minutes and once the process is done I'll be right back with you so this is what you would see once the process is completed tap any key now this image will get pushed And uh, hit any key again and it's done so let me zoom out the phone would reboot at this at this point so just wait for the reboot to be done you can unplug the USB cable if you want to I mean the phone is up it'll take a few seconds to load up so just give it a few seconds and then hit applications and under applications you should see super user and uh, you should also see clockwork mod this means that your phone is rooted so that's it for the root tutorial guys uh, I would strongly suggest at this point that you go ahead and install a custom ROM onto the device and I would suggest using the rocket ROM or the check rom and i will give links to both the roms under the in the description uh, if you have any questions on how to install the rom or you have any doubts on that you can go ahead and click the link that pops up right now the tutorial might be demoed on a uh, acer iconia a500 tablet but the process is the same for the galaxy note as well so you can follow it verbatim and just use the rocket rom or uh, check rom instead and uh, I can guarantee you that the phone would be a lot faster, smoother and uh, you would get a great battery life out of these two ROMs. Uh, I personally have been using the Rocket ROM for more, more than uh, two months right now and it's amazing. Uh, if you have any kind of questions whatsoever, leave it in the comment section or send me a message or better yet hit me up on Twitter at CursedForever, that's C-U-R-S-E-D, the number 4, E-V-A. Uh, the link to my Facebook page is in the, in the description as well. Or you could send me, a, send me an email at uh, ash at cursedforever.com. That's ash at cursedforever.com. 
So once again, thanks a lot for watching guys. And before you go, make sure you hit like and subscribe to my videos. So that's it. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Bye-bye now.